Today in the smuggler's room, I'm in the mood for a better light switch experience. So I'm going to the edge. Straight to Galaxy's Edge. That's coming up. What's up, you awesome geeks? I'm Brian and welcome to the Smuggler's Room. This week, this chubby geek is taking on a project I wanted to do for a little over a year. You see, I visited Disney's Galaxy's Edge a couple of different times, and it's pretty much an amazing experience for a Star Wars fan. All said, one of the things that really interested me were the control panels that you see spread throughout the park. These interesting panels not only have a great variety in their design, but they're also interactive. Using the Disney Play app on your phone, you can interact with them, getting the lights to change and respond. Pretty simple, but a cool addition just as you're walking through the park. Awesome, but what does that have to do with today's project? Well, my friends, ever since I saw these, I made the decision that I wanted one or more, and I wanted them as a light switch. And that's what we're gonna do today. Let's get started. Now this all starts with a simple enough design. I found reference for the control panels that I liked and then I drew it up best I could in Adobe Illustrator. Now, before we could take this to the laser cutter, I needed to lay down a base color. In this case, it has a slightly blue tint. The reason for the base color is that I wanna utilize my laser cutter to help me mask all the pinstripe lines in the design. So if I paint the acrylic first, then cover it with a protective paper, I'll be able to remove just the areas I want pinstriped, which I'll show you here in a bit. And there you have it. Fresh, perfect pinstripe lines. It almost kind of feels like I'm cheating. Now the frame was cut from an eighth inch MDF. So before I could paint it, I need to seal it. Though, in hindsight, I really only needed to seal the top piece, but oh well. On 
On the Galaxy's Edge panel, there are specifically designed Greeblies, one in particular. But I chose a good old fashioned hard drive motor since the room build and so many of our other projects already have them. I figured I would just keep with that theme a bit more. Now the control panel looks good, nice and clean, but if you know me, dirty is my jam. So oil paints and makeup brushes, here we go. This was one of our quicker projects. I was actually surprised how fast it came together. But before I show you how it's completed, I wanna take a second and say thank you to all of you that went to our store last week and bought every piece of stock we had. We sold out of all of it, and we're so incredibly appreciative of your support. Now, if you didn't get something you wanted, or we ran out of a particular item, don't worry, we're gonna have more towards the end of July. And we found a supplier now for material, so we'll have regular updates in our store with not only new product, but all the products that you guys have asked for. And maybe, if you like, the Galaxy's Edge control panel light switch, we could offer that too. Let us know in the comments and we'll see if we can put a kit together for next time. All right, let's take a look at how this all finished up. I'm planning on wiring up the LEDs for the color tiles as well, but I'm not sure I'm ready to spoil the surprise for that section of the room and the wall just yet. For that, well, you're gonna have to come back the next time we build something out of nothing. I'm planning on wiring up the LEDs for the color tiles as well, but I'm not sure I'm ready to support, ah. Uh, I'm planning on wiring up the LEDs for the color tiles as well, but I'm not sure I'm ready to spoil the surprise of this section of the room. Let's try that one more time.